Turn the unit on and off with the yellow button at the top. We'll refer to the operating buttons as F1 through F5. F1 is used to toggle between air and contact discharge mode. The unit will not allow us to enter contact mode when the voltage is set to anything over 9 kV. Use the F2 button to enter the voltage menu. F1 and F2 will move the voltages up and down. The F5 button on the far right will take us back to the starting menu. The unit is capable of 25 pulses per second, but only in air discharge mode. F4 allows us to update the repetition cycle to 10 Hz. Now we can enter contact mode. Press and hold the trigger for 3 seconds. We'll try to get 30 discharges. Reset our counter by pressing F5. Of course, counting up in your head isn't the best method even if you have the quickest trigger finger in the West. Press F5 again to access the preset counter, followed by F3 to turn it on. F4 can be used to alternate polarity halfway through your test sequence. Using F1 will raise our count to 30 pulses. When I return and hold down the trigger, we have our 30 pulses. Another mode in the preset counter area is continuous operation. F5 to enter the preset counter menu once again. Bring the preset counter down to zero with F2. Press F2 once again to deactivate the counter. Turning back to our main menu and pressing the trigger button once, the gun continually discharges at 10 Hz. Press the trigger again to turn off the firing. Depending on your test setup and how long you let it run, you may have built up some juice, so give your system some time for the voltage to dissolve. Back in the preset counter menu, F1 or F2 will reactivate the counter and deactivate continuous mode. Last but not least, let's save a test parameter for regular use. Air discharge, for example, 8500 volts. Staying in the voltage menu, we press F4 to store the setting. Using F3, we scroll through the pre-programmed IEC levels and select a memory location. We press F4 once again to assign the current value in the simulator to the IEC level 4 air discharge memory location. These tests can be recalled at any time by entering the voltage menu, F2, and using the F3 key to access the four memory locations in either air or contact mode.